Hello everybody, and welcome back to the walkthrough, Fire Temple time, it looks a little more run down than before, but it should be okay, all should be possible to complete, no matter how this place is cracked up, from my jokes, or just itself, probably mostly just itself, so... <laughs> I'm getting a lot of fire keys here, so I'm gonna just switch to the boomerang. There we go. There we go. I'm probably not gonna get any more. Ooh, goo goo bars from Mario. Yes, yes, they return. Oh no, a boss! And try not to activate all three of these at once, just to make things easier on yourself. It's pretty easy to do that. Uh, well. And when you not. <laughs> These are staples, by the way. When you attack them, they jump back. And you gotta kinda counter them, and then when their head is bouncing on the ground after you hit them a few times, you gotta kill that head before it goes back to the body, otherwise it'll put itself back together again, a la Dry Bone style. <laughs> So there's a double Mario reference. No, actually, I don't. I don't think the Staffos are a Mario reference in on themselves. Okay, now this is something important here. So the pitfalls here mirror those on the other side. So make a note of them. And also see these zappy things. They're called winders. Uh, yeah, don't touch them. And also, yeah, yeah, that's a pit. So mirrors on the other side. So you might want to put some little scribbles where there are holes to block out ye old area. Didn't see that, see that? Mirrors on the other side. There's a little scribble there, a little scribble there. Looks good to me, I would say. So then we continue on, and if, yeah, it's about here. There we go. I think that's all the pits here. And <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and do that other one later. There's this little switch that I can use at that point. Uh, you'll see. What's this? <laughs> What's this dilapidated old thing? It looks like some kind of vehicle. Hmm. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe this statue will have something to say about that. I forgot to pull out the keyboard. That's okay. <laughs> Song of Awakening! It's probably just gonna tell me about treasure chests. There's only one, I think, that says something different in this dungeon. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm okay. <laughs> go, 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 go! Whee! <laughs> so yeah, that's a minecart. And... <laughs> it knocks you for a loop when you end up at the end of it. <laughs> All right, small key. That's all we can get here for now because we cannot get ourselves off this mine car when it starts. So yeah, we're kind of kind of trapped in that regard. So this is actually not much of a lower floor to that upper floor anyway. <laughs> all right. So as I was saying, I was gonna hit this. Uh, Got lock on, of course. The sunburst. Otherwise, you're gonna be all picky about that. Now I can jump down. <laughs> Otherwise, you have to go all the way around. So about this little tiny volcano thingy here, just plop that on there, jump yourself across, and there you go. <laughs> we got ourselves a flamethrower going on from a stone statue trying to imitate a Pokemon move, but that's okay. We can block that with the power of our block. <laughs> But unfortunately, that's as far as you could push it. That is not unsatisfying. I want to push it all the way over to the face. Uh, uh. Now, remember those marks that he made on the map there? Yeah. Oh, no! I did that on purpose, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, we got ourselves another stone statue. I think this is just another thing about getting chests. I think I think it's mainly about like something there. No. <laughs> I'm saving my rupees. I'm feeling confident. <laughs> ooh, ooh. So this this way here is just it's just a way back. <laughs> <laughs> like before, it's, it's yeah, it's a lot of mirrorness over here just in general, so we don't need to use that at all. 
Yeah. Woohoo! Now over here, uh, you're gonna see some switches popping up. Woo! Yeah, just like that. If you didn't do that, you would end up getting stuck at dead ends. <laughs> There's, there's nothing to find at the dead ends. You know what, maybe I'll... Uh, maybe I'll show you that just once. Just like on the way back. But yeah, you get a small key over there and whatnot. So uh, there you go. That is taken care of. Like you see this over here. If you fall down this one, you go... You fall into the hole. That one is perfectly safe. Is that you just end up popping at the dead end. Wait, maybe... Maybe not, maybe that's not a dead end one. I mean, maybe it's not a pit one. Hold on a sec. Because, yeah, this one is. Yeah, you skip that, and then you end up. Uh, my face. <laughs> yeah, see, those switches basically switch the tracks, and you've got to do them in real time. You can't do them on the way back or something like that, because they will actually switch back to their default position. So yeah, I'm gonna let myself go down this way here. Okay, so you don't go in the pit, you hit go to this chest. That's convenient. <laughs> oh, staff full skull, of course. See, so, you know, this is a place so that it would make sense for them to be staff full skulls, not Hyrule Castle in a pot. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I definitely did want to go down that uh, that other path there, but not, not the first one. Not the first one. And now that I got two keys, I can now finally open these doors, which I save for later. <laughs> Why did I wait to open these doors? Well, because it doesn't really help you to open these doors the, when you come through here the first time. Just get both keys and open the doors, save yourself some time. Oh no, it's a time switch! There's no possible way that you could go over to the other one in time! But there is a way. There is a way. Use the power of your curved piece of wood. And there you go. <laughs> Alright. Back to this floor. And we're trapped. We're trapped. It's the mini boss, the Heat Ice Attack. Oh, it goes into its shell. There's nothing we can do about it. What, what can we do? I mean, it, it's immune to everything we have as, as far as we can tell, right? 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 Yes, it is. Let's just put it that way to save time. So it's... <laughs> so, you're, yeah, it's gonna do stuff and you've got goo goo bar... I mean, not the goo... I mean, the, <laughs> the winders. What you gotta do is you gotta get the heat toys to hit one of those winders, it'll zap itself. And then it'll be like, ah, oh, I can't stand up to the power of electricity. And then, oh, that worked out nicely there. And then it comes out of its shell, and then you can attack it again. Isn't that convenient? <laughs> okay, you, you go back in your shell there. Get yourself to hit your face on the, there we go, or body, whatever, whichever direction your face is. It's gonna go straight, straight to anyway, I guess. <laughs> it just goes right through the body. Rinse and repeat. Victory is yours, and you can progress. <laughs> Woo! You know, this dungeon really isn't all that long. It, it come to think of it now uh, that I look back at it, it's just mostly about the puzzles. I got the bow and arrow! Woo! 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 So now you know what the quiver is used for at the Goron's place that's ridiculously expensive. And you can also refill your arrows there should you start shooting them around randomly and use them all up. But basically, you shoot the eyeballs and special targets and stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah, if you run out, there you go. Just keep doing that infinitely. But alas, alas, these things, these things, well, well, you're, they're, they're kind of, they're kind of out of the way in a lot of cases. <laughs> uh, wait, actually, you know what? I wonder, I wonder, maybe I should try shooting ye all winders for kicks, like, just to see if something will come out of that. I don't think I ever did that before in any of my playthroughs. So, for all I know, I might have missed treasure chests! Maybe! Maybe! Oh shoot, yeah, you gotta shoot the... the one at the very tip. 
It shouldn't take me too long to clear out these suckers here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's all those. Nope. Nope, that was a complete waste of time, so let's waste our time on the other end, because it'll probably be the same thing. Oh, really? I gotta do this again? <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, so yeah, the, I guess the winders, at least the way that things are looking, are, uh... Yeah, they're kind of a waste. <laughs> oh, wait, actually, are there any winders here? Because I think the puzzle here was just that, yeah, you just... Ah, you just gotta draw where the pits are, okay. <laughs> alright, alright, um... Uh, yeah, I guess I can move on then. Moving on! Ah, <laughs> uh, the other one was just the, um... Uh, oh, I should actually refill on arrows, come to think of it, because I wasted them. <laughs> yeah, the other one was just the minecart area, which I'm in right now. Um, um, uh, come on, come on, go back, go back, go back! There we go! We are good to go. And... Well, what can we do? Well, there's this weird thing here. It's just... <laughs> it's just like, it redirects your arrow. And then there you go. <laughs> and thus, we open this. We get a pirate necklace. Yes, but we could wear that too if we want. It's a... Only those who are superstitious can't wear that. <laughs> you know, like, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh yes! <laughs> we can do that, or you can use your boomerang too, that'll work just as well. Oh yeah! Take that, puzzle. Woo! And then finally, we grab this, throw it over there. I'll even use the boomerang this time for demonstration purposes. Switch back to the bow and arrow. Voila. <laughs> Woohoo! Okay. Now we go down and around to basement one. And this is this is so silly. Remember, the only way to open this door is with a key. Yes. We would have never thought of that to this point in the game. <laughs> Just seriously, seriously. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh no! Get your bone arrow really right away. All the staff holes activate all at once. They're gonna be throwing their bones at you. So really? Okay. <laughs> so kill them before they eh, before they fill a place with bones. And then you're a sad panda or a sad kid. Sad hero of Hyrule, whatever you want to call it yourself, it's okay with me. And there we go. <laughs> uh, actually, you know what? I could grab some of this stuff here. Oh no, no, well, I don't need the arrow arrows particularly. Well, okay, fine, I'll grab them just because. <laughs> there we go. Just refill my stuff. Um, that's a shortcut back, I do believe. I think. Well, I guess I could shoot that now. Why not? Yeah, that's a that's a thing for later. Uh, wait, no, 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 wait, no, no, it's not a thing for later. That's right, it's for these. Uh, I think this this is gonna ruin me. Yeah, because <laughs> those volcanoes start erupting again. Yeah, I I, I I flubbed that. Okay, there we go. Hit that switch again. Get your whip out very quickly. Yeah, those fl yeah, those volcanoes there reminded me that those over there were going to re-erupt. There we go. It's not much of a puzzle, it's just a thing of, of hurry, hurry, hurry! Yeah, you can do this to take care of the staff posts as well. That's probably easier than your sword, in all honesty, come to think of it, because they don't do their jumpy jumps. <laughs> let me guess, let me guess. This is just for... Oops. I was going to do the Song of Birds. Let me guess, this is just for... The chests on the floor. Let me guess. Let me guess. Uh huh. Uh huh. No. No. <laughs> so go over here now. Next and wait for it. Wait for it. They're all timed differently. It's kind of. <laughs> it's kind of weird. 
And the larvae, or larva, depending on how you're feeling like you want to pronounce it, and do some swings on to get over here, and <laughs> open that up, shortcut back, I guess, and there you go, blade traps, being all classic Zelda on you, look at that, all nostalgic-like, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, we're good. Rudo Crown, let's get our boomerang out here and go through the fire keys. You you want to go through the fire keys to ignite your boomerang? Well, preferably if I can do this without any sort of ire here. Because <laughs> yeah, you want to light the torches with the power of the keys. Come on, come on guys, help me out here. <laughs> there we go. There we go, all right. And I think because... Ah, I think because this dungeon is relatively short, I am going to end off the part here. At least it's short if you know what you're doing. So with that, I'm going to end off the part here. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I finish the dungeon. Heck yeah!